Hey there, this is Akshat Madan and welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we are going to see container number two. So till the last part, we had drawn uh, the nav bar in mobile and desktop and we have covered this container one. So I hope that you did the homework that to draw the tablet view of nav bar and container one, right? So I hope that you have completed it. And now let's move on to container to desktop. So in this video, I'm going to cover the desktop view of this container number two, which is going to include this orange part and these five company logos, All right? So let's do that. So I'm going to draw container two dot dot uh, file container two dot dot. And over here, first of all, I'm going to copy the exact same thing of container one so that we don't need to uh, write any boilerplate code. And I'm going to clear everything inside this container, right? So let's see where my container is ending. Uh, Yes, this is the desktop and I'm going to copy the complete container and I'm going to clear it out. Perfect. So this is the desktop container one. Uh, let's replace container one with container number two. So container two, let's replace it. Perfect. So now we are ready to go and in the home dot dot, uh, let's go in home dot dot and let's write after container one, let's call container two. Perfect. So this is all good. So if I just go over here and see, uh, I think this is not refresh. So let me just refresh it. Yes. So if I just go over here and I cannot scroll it. Okay. So this is the one problem that we are facing. Uh, okay. So I forgot that I had cleared uh, this desktop too. That's why it is, it is just an empty container. That's why I was not able to scroll. Yeah. So that's not a problem. Now let's draw everything inside container. So this is my desktop container too. And first of all, I'm going to give it a height of uh, 900. So why 900? Because if you'll just see uh, this height is 900, right? So this is the complete height. So this is 900. Perfect. And its width will be double dot infinity. So double dot infinity and its decoration I'm going to give. So decoration will be a box decoration and it will be having a color of app colors dot primary. So if I just save it and just see uh, below it, you can see this is the 900 height container, right? So this is all good. And now after this uh, decoration, I'm going to give it a child and a column. And now inside this column, I'm going to have children and children will be expanded. Child will be a stack. So why a stack I'm choosing? Because you can see that above this uh, orange container, I'm having some uh, circular vectors and I'm, and I'm having this dashboard image, right? So that's why a stack and stack will have children. And inside this children, I'm going to write position position and a child will be so you can see the left uh, right and bottom so if i uh, this is all my previous calculation so when i uh, subtracted this complete width uh, with the this 625 width so i saw that it is uh, from the left it is 43 and from the right it is 43 but yes you have to uh, put different values for tablet right and in mobile i'm going to just put some padding right uh, or you can choose uh, like any smaller value like 2010 right which looks good or you can what you can do is you can directly put it based upon the width of the complete screen that's totally up to you right but now i'm keeping 43 and uh, from bottom you can see that from bottom it will be zero why because you can see that it is uh, exactly touching uh, this main container right so that's why it is uh, zero. Now we need to give the, now we need to give the dimensions of this container, which is, uh, 712 and, uh, yes. So let's do it. So, uh, from bottom it is zero. And now I'm going to give it a child and a container and a container and a container will have width double dot infinity width will be double dot infinity and the height will be 712. So after this, I'm going to give it a decoration. So decoration and a box decoration, box decoration, and then the image decoration image 
and the image will be nothing but the dashboard image so asset image asset sorry it is above only asset image and it will be dashboard image so from where this dashboard image is coming i have already defined all the images in uh, this uh, constant dot dart right so this is all set and we don't need to do anything else and if i just save it and if i just go over here i can see my dashboard image perfectly right so this is my dashboard image i have not yet put uh, those uh, circle circular vectors let's put it afterwards and but this is good and now after that i am going to uh, come out of my stack so this is my stack sorry out of this expanded so that i can put more content to my column so this is my column and i can come out of expanded so what is left so the part left is this container right facebook google all these images i need to put so let's put this part so i need to define a container for this and the container will have some padding so padding will be edge insets uh, dot symmetric of course and from vertical i'm going to provide it 40 right and after the padding so vertical i'm talking about this padding so if you just, if you just select this so you can uh, see that there is some space uh, from the above part right so this is all good and you can see that if i okay so let me just show you only and then i'll uh, talk about what i was talking right now so child will be a row and the row will have some children so and the row will also have main axis alignment as main axis alignment dot space evenly and the children will have company logos right so i'm going to define this uh, uh, widget very soon so company logo right and let's define this widget so over here i'm going to define widget company logo and it is going to take a uh, image right and it is going to return a uh, container so return a container and based on my experience its height uh, its width should be or you what you can do is you can just select this and you can see that width is 160 and height is around 32 so width will be 160 so width will be 160 and 32 will be very small so i'm going to keep the height as 40 right so decoration decoration box decoration image decoration image decoration image and the image will be nothing but an asset image and whatever image i'm getting as a parameter fit will be uh, fit i need to define so fit should be inside this so it should have fit box fit dot contain box fit dot contain perfect so i can now uh, define the company logos so first will be fb that is facebook then again a company logo and second will be google third will be coca cola so it is coca cola and fourth is samsung so company logo perfect so let's just save it and if you just see uh, below this part you can see that all these logos are having the orange color as background so i what i need to do is inside this container i can define color uh, color and i can define colors dot white so perfect and i can see that it is having the same color as you can see over here right so yeah and i think that uh, uh, height should be 36 will be good so i can just save it and now let's see what we get so i can see this first container i can see the second container and i can see that these are my companies or which the expense app is a partner of right so yeah this is good and now let's try to do those vectors so i can define a position and for testing purpose uh, let's put the space at and you can see that it is right it is somewhat cutting right because actual uh, this vector is this and from the right it is cutting some part so i'm going to provide right as uh, minus 20 and you can see that from the top also it is cutting a little bit so i'm going to define from the left as minus 20 right and i can define a child and the child will have a container and let's define the height of this container as let's say 320 and the width as again 320 and let's define a decoration or let's copy this decoration from here because it is also going to have an image a decoration image so let's paste the decoration over here 
image will be vector one and let's just save it. So let's see the output. Okay, so it is coming somewhat around here. So it is, okay, I forgot it, it is right. From right, it should be minus 20 and from top, it should be minus 20. Now let's see, yes, it is over here. It is looking perfect. Now in the same way, now in the same way, let's define the second position. So let's just copy it. Let's just uh, paste it. And over here, I'm going to define from the left, it should be minus 20 and from the bottom, it should be minus 20 and it should be vector number two. Let's just save it. And let's see, yes, I'm getting that uh, vector behind the main dashboard image. Yeah, it is somewhat similar only. Some, uh, sometime like here and there it, uh, it is fine, but the actual look, it is the same, right? So yeah, this was it. So I hope that you like this video till next content. Keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.